Good evening. It is my great honor to welcome you to tonight's virtual celebration of our Worcester County Public Schools Teachers of the Year. While we had held out hope that we would be able to return to hosting our beautiful gala in Ocean City to honor our teachers while they are surrounded by friends, family, and colleagues, unfortunately, we're not quite to that point in this pandemic. But just because we can't be together in person to celebrate our teachers, it doesn't mean we can't gather together here on social media and in family watch parties in the thousands of homes across our region. Now, before we begin the introductions of our 14 incredible teachers of the year, I have some words of thanks I would like to share for those who have made our Teacher of the Year program so successful. First, I would like to honor and thank our Board of Education for leading our school system with the vision and dedication needed to position our students for success well into their futures. I know many of them are watching tonight's festivities and I know they are wishing all of our candidates good luck. Additionally, I would like to recognize our elected officials who work so diligently to ensure Worcester County Public Schools has the resources and support to ensure our schools remain the safe, student-centered learning environments that we have pledged to our communities. Thank you to our Worcester County Commissioners led by President Joe Matresic and our thanks to State Delegates Wayne Hartman and Charles Otto and State Senator Mary Beth Carroza. This evening, more than anything, focuses on outstanding teachers. This year, more than any other, I have witnessed our teachers' courage and dedication in ways I have never seen. So, to all of our educators tuning in tonight, I am so proud of you and so incredibly grateful for each and every one of you. Now, let's begin honoring those incredible teachers that have been chosen to represent their school in the 2021 Worcester County Teacher of the Year program. Yeah, this is my oh, second one. Okay, I just scored on the first one. Right, okay. But, the, but at the end of all this whole unit, you uh, have to take an end of unit quiz. Okay. So that one's just sort of trying to let you know, are you headed in the right direction? Right, right. Gotcha. Thank you. Well, he uh, always has a positive attitude uh, whenever I see him in the hallways, whenever I see him in the classroom. Kids always seem to enjoy coming in and out of his classroom, always seem to have a good time, and always seem like they learn a lot from him. Mr. Marks is a great teacher because um, he really made me interested in business. I decided that I wanted to major in accounting, and I got really interested in the stock market and economics, and now I'm taking two of his classes this semester. I've had him for three semesters so far. His first book they said, no, we don't really like, but then he, did he keep coming back? Yes. yes. And did he ever give up? Yeah. Now, is that what we should learn from Dr. So, Seuss? So the thing I said, so I think like he did everything he could to make it in a different way, see which one they like. Yes, exactly. You're exactly um, right. She's an amazing teacher because of her humility and the way that she truly cares about kids. Kara looks at kids um, as more than students and she looks at them beyond the four walls of the school. She wants to meet their needs in a way that they will be successful in and outside of school. She is in this job um, for children and she truly um, is working for them. Miss Kurtz is my favorite teacher because she's really nice and she helps us learn a lot. She always gives students a second chance. She is always working above and beyond. And there is no stone left unturned when Miss Bird is there to help a student and also to help her colleagues. 
she spends day and night thinking, worrying, stressing, and creating things to make the student experience so much more rich and developed. So there's no amount of words that could express how much Miss Bird means for her students and for us at our school. She is essential to us. Because she's good and awesome and she does great things. We learn things that are like bugs and people that are um, authors. I love you, Miss Bird. excited. I motivate you. Why would he highlight and emphasize these words to these men? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. She's so. about the whole individual. It's not just about parts. Um, you know, she wants to meet them mentally, physically, and socially, you know, to get to, to make sure that they get out of education what they're supposed to. She really pushes the whole student. She tries to get out of them everything possible and uh, she always gives 110 percent in trying to get everything out of them. Miss Taylor, her classroom is the place everyone wants to be just because she's very welcoming. She's like your mother, your teacher, and your coach. Miss Taylor is the coach that pushes you to be a better you. If you ever fall down, she's there to pick you up. But overall, she's very welcoming and everyone is different, but she loves you all as a whole. She don't show no favoritism towards anybody. She loves everyone the same. What an amazing group of educators. They are all phenomenal teachers that are truly working to reach every child in their care. And a special congratulations to our first finalist named tonight, Ms. Kara Kurtz of Snow Hill Middle School. Kara is one of our four finalists who will be announced throughout the evening before our county winner is named at the end of the program. Our finalists, like Kara and our winner tonight, were determined by the scored evaluations of our Teacher of the Year selection panel. We would like to thank our judges for lending their time and expertise to our program this year. They are Dr. Evelyn Jones of University of Maryland Eastern Shore, Dr. Kay Keister of Wilmington University, Mrs. Christina McQuaid, our 2020 Worcester County Teacher of the Year, Mrs. Kim Moses, Public Information Officer for Worcester County Government, and Ms. Kara Schamberg of Warwick Community College. Thank you all. Now, before I move on to our, set, our next set of teachers to honor, I'd like to take a moment on behalf of our entire school community to honor a beloved friend of our Teacher of the Year program that we unfortunately lost this year. Dr. Brandi Terrell faithfully served our Teacher of the Year selection panel, representing Salisbury University for so many years. More than that, she loved being able to mentor and celebrate our educators. She passed earlier this year following a months long battle with cancer. She was taken far too soon, but the imprint she left on both this program and so many teachers will never be forgotten. Now, let's get back to our favorite part of the Teacher of the Year program, honoring our outstanding teachers. So uh, you'll notice that all the cations uh, in the example box are positive, which is good. So boron, if you look at the periodic table, is a time number five, and it's got five protons, uh, but it's a plus three ion. What does that mean? What is happening? Mr. Child is a great colleague because he's reliable and I can always depend on him as part of the science team. And I love that he is able to present chemistry content in a way that is approachable to students and um, in a real world setting. He is a very good teacher because he likes to help out whoever I need. If you like stuck on like chemistry or like any type like science, he will like try like to help you understand and like try to get the like like science. Like I didn't like science at all, but um, he made me kind of like science a little bit more better. Yeah, sing with me. Push it, Bella. Push it, Bella. Push it, Bella. Push it, Bella. Push it back. Way back. With my eyeballs, I gotta push the minute the hour hand backwards. What hour is it gonna point to? Two, so it means it's two. Oh, not a clock. That would be up here. Two. Thirty. Good 
She just knows. She knows when to use her fun sense of humor. She knows her curriculum inside and out and has the best way of delivering it. She definitely knows what's developmentally appropriate and she knows how to encourage students' creativity and really tap into their imagination. And Miss Wheeler makes everyone around her feel special, especially her students. Um, she helps me when I need her. She makes me laugh. She makes fun projects and she's pretty. And I really want her to be teacher of the year. Miss Sangwan is a teacher that I use as a role model. She is so devoted to her students. She's always pushing herself and her students, giving them every free minute and above. Every afternoon when I walk into her classroom, I find that she is tutoring other students or doing an after-school club. She is able to provide that high-level education that is going to set her students for success. Ms. Sengon, she's so engaging in the classroom. Um, she has such a commanding authority over the class. You're kind of really in the moment with her. And she's very efficient. Um, you sit down in class one day and by the time you've left you haven't even realized you've learned so much just because it's so natural and it feels so effortless the way that she presents. fantastic teacher. Um, as a colleague and a friend, she's dependable, she's patient, and she's fun. And especially in such a difficult time right now, that is such a blessing to have. Not only as a colleague do I want my students in her classroom because her differentiation skills are excellent, but as a parent, um, I'm so blessed to have my own child in there because she takes care of my daughter like she's one of her own. So congratulations, and she's just an exceptional educator. She plans stuff, fun stuff, and she does fun stretches and math. I love her so much. She's the kindest teacher ever. Congratulations to Nick, Laura, Marty, and Catherine. You have all represented our school system and your school so well. And special congratulations once again to Artie, our second finalist of the night. Artie, Laura, Catherine, and Nick, and all the teachers of the year will receive an amazing prize pack filled with gift vouchers, goodies, and more. And this is all courtesy of our incredible sponsors. It is my honor tonight to recognize our gift sponsors, whose in-kind donations make our Teachers of the Year feel valued and special. Our thanks to Christina McQuaid, the Delmarva Shorebirds, The Hobbit, Island Creamery, Ocean City Chamber of Commerce, Phyllis Mitchell Financial Services, the Town of Ocean City, and the Worcester Spirit Shop. Thank you for your generosity. Now let's meet our next group of honored teachers. Artists and scholars. A, paper. B, carpets. I will. Or C, paintbrushes. Which one helps the artist? Ellen Masters um, has been wonderful to collaborate with. She is a teacher leader. She is energetic and is amazing with technology. The children love going to her class. She really makes history come alive. Um, she has been a teacher leader and taken on a new role in the one-to-one -one, um, conversions. And without her, I don't know that we would be able to do it at all. Um, um, she always helps us with our, our work. Um, she teaches in a fun way and she doesn't make it boring and lets us kind of do our thing when we do it. Um, and she lets us take like multiple tries on our test, which really helps us out a lot. So the thing about these stories that are written by the author Kevin Hank is that they are made up. Can you hear that? They made up. Made up. 
We can call that make believe. Say make believe. We can call it fiction. Say fiction. All right. Lauren Walker is fantastic. She is uh, wonderful to work with because she is super patient. And so when you're working with little ones, patience is very important because you really have to take your time to find out what works, to figure out how that individual student learns. And you have to be really willing and able to try different tactics. The students that she works with are very lucky to have her. Guess what? What? She orders me food. She he ordered me biscotti. Um, I love this world. We're looking at properties, we're looking at data tables, we're looking at what are the properties of our reactants versus the properties of our products. And the reason that the properties change is because something new that has those products, uh, that has those properties are there. He has a superpower of being a generous person. In the classroom, he's generous with his enthusiasm, um, his excitement. He brings the kids in, in and engages them. He's generous with his colleagues, his knowledge of technology, his willingness to help out. Um, we have this one child, and uh, he's rarely in school, and uh, he's had some behavioral issues. But in Mr. Wilson's class, uh, he connects and he participates, and it's like a whole different child. He's a really good teacher. He's really respectful. He's really nice. Uh, he understands everything. Um, he's an amazing teacher. I think he really deserves Teacher of the Year. Congratulations to this incredible group of teachers from across our county, and I'm happy to extend special congratulations to Lauren Walker for being named our third finalist tonight. As Mr. Tolbert shared earlier, our Teacher of the Year program would not be possible without the generous support of sponsors. It is my pleasure to recognize and thank our silver and gold level sponsors this evening. The following silver level sponsors donated at least $125 to the Teacher of the Year program. Reed and Virginia McDowell, Secrets, Adcock Studio, Delmarva Printing, and OC Chiropractic. Our gold level sponsors this evening who donated at least $250 to the Teacher of the Year program are the Bank of Ocean City and Coates, Coates & Coates PA. Thank you for your support of our teachers. Now, let's turn our focus back to our teachers with our last group of incredible candidates. active in life? Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, but when I'm active, if you're talking to me, if I'm like this, look, I'm gesturing, yes. So what impresses me the most about Miss Hart is her ability to teach just about any content area and her relationship with her students. I have seen Miss Hart in three different content areas and she has done a phenomenal job in all three of those. And secondly, her relationship with her students. I just always love um, the conversations that she has with her students. She always goes deeper and she really knows her students in a real way. When anybody needs help on her, the work, she comes and helps them. And if we don't understand it, she uses a chalkboard and like helps us visualize it. Thinking is hard for um, showing me how to cook, do laundry, and budget. What, what is right here, Miar? No. So my nose, I could do a nose like mouth. that. Or Wait. I could do a nose like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think I like that nose for right now. And working with her has been absolutely amazing. In all the years, people have come and gone, but she is so steadfast and loyal. Loyal to our community, loyal to our students, and her heart is just so big. She cares so much for the kids here, and you see it, not just in her teaching, but just in the way she, she carries herself. If anyone in this building needs anything, she is always quick to lend a helping hand, to give a hug. She's there to laugh with you, cry with you. She's just a wonderful all-around person. I love her because she, she compliments my booze and she tries to do her best. 
and that she likes to paint with us and help us. Or white or mammal? Okay, are you guys ready to write your sentence? Yes. I think you guys are too. All right, let me give us our pictures. Stacy is an amazing teacher. She puts so much passion and love into everything she does from everything from serving breakfast in the morning to teaching the most intense grade level standards to our most significant students. She is an awesome team player. I have grown from her in ways that I cannot even fathom. Um, she is an awesome, awesome coworker and a truly amazing friend to have. Because she is awesome. We made a snowman. I love you, Miss Stacy. Wow, I am blown away by this year's Teacher of the Year candidates. They all bring something unique and special to this program. And I am happy to wish congratulations to our last finalist this evening, Melissa Reed. Speaking of something special, it is my honor tonight to recognize our Platinum Level and our automotive sponsors for our Teacher of the Year program. We are proud to recognize the following Platinum Level sponsors who donated at least $500 to this year's recognition program. The Ocean City Berlin Optimist Club, Park Place Jewelers, and Taylor Bank. Thank you for your generosity. And lastly, beginning with an incredible surprise in 2018, our Teacher of the Year program was honored to establish an automotive partnership with the Hertrick family of automotive dealerships. They have generously pledged a donation of a vehicle to our Worcester County Teacher of the Year for the school year during which they hold the title. Thank you Hertrick for continuing to make our program that much more special for our teachers. And now I will turn it back over to our superintendent Mr. Lou Taylor, who has the best part of tonight's program, announcing the next Worcester County Teacher of the Year. I want to say thank you once again to everyone for tuning in to this evening's celebration. Now, a tradition during the Teacher of the Year Gala has been to hear a keynote speech from our outgoing Teacher of the Year. We want to make sure that the extraordinary Christina McQuaid our 2020 Teacher of the Year is honored with the opportunity to speak. So I'm excited to share that she will be able to give her keynote during our opening kickoff this August. But until then, we want to thank Christina for being an incredible ambassador for the teachers of Worcester County during this unusual year. And now it is my great pride to announce our 2021 Worcester County Teacher of the Year. Tonight, we have seen just a glimpse of the incredible professionalism, enthusiasm, and just overall passion for teaching from the 14 incredible educators who have been named their school's Teacher of the Year. And from that group, we are honored to recognize as finalists tonight, Snow Hill Middle School's Kara Kurtz, Worcester Technical High School's Artie Sangwan, Pocomoke Elementary School's Lauren Walker, and Buckingham Elementary School's Melissa Reed. So without further ado, our 2021 Teacher of the Year is Artie Sangwan of Worcester Technical High School. Now, Artie will go on to the state level competition where she will be honored by the State Board of Education at its meeting in July, and then she will be recognized along with her State Teacher of the Year cohort at a gala in Baltimore later this fall. Congratulations once again, Artie. I know you will represent us well. I hope everyone on social media tonight will join us in wishing our most heartfelt congratulations to Artie and all of the candidates we've honored this evening. Thank you once again for joining us this evening. And I wish you and yours good health and happiness. And may God bless you all. Good night.